morning and welcome to our parish Eucharist where we celebrate and venerate the Holy Cross. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolve to keep God's commandment and to live in love and peace with all. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lifted up on the cross, your Son reconciled the world to you, our merciful Father. 
May all who experience your forgiveness in Christ crucified proclaim the good news of your loving wisdom and saving power. Through him to whom every knee shall bow, Jesus our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Philippians. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. It was nine in the morning when they crucified Jesus. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And they crucified him, two bandits, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha! You who destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him amongst themselves and saying, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now, so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came across the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lima sabachitini, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, listen, he is calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come down and take him. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly, this man was God's son. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Every year the RSPCA uses the following slogan or phrase, A dog is, not, is, dog is for life not just for Christmas. This phrase seems to say something about both the sanctity of life overall, a dog is for life, and the importance of giving reverence, due reverence to a season, 
Christmas. The message, although primarily about the dog, seems to suggest that the best way to love and cherish the dog is by remembering that it was a gift given at a specific time of year to be enjoyed all year round. In a similar vein, I would like to suggest that the cross is for life, not just for Good Friday, and that the best way to grow in love, in awe and appreciation for Jesus on a lifelong basis is to constantly return to the foot of the cross. Why not spend just a few minutes each week imagining yourself at the very foot of the cross? It's a worthwhile spiritual discipline. A discipline that can only change us for the better. A bit discipline which will lead to growth in holiness, which is our vocation. And we should be clear, an unhealthy world desperately needs a healthy and holy church. In the words of that great Friday hymn, we should, as a repeated pattern of behaviour, rather than simply on an annual basis, survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. It is when we survey the cross and the crucified Jesus on the cross that we begin to understand what glory is all about. It is when we survey the wondrous cross that we begin to be changed in Wesley's words from glory into glory. And it is from the foot of the cross that we begin to understand and appreciate that we will, again in Wesley's words, one day in heaven see his face. Let us never diminish the importance of returning to the foot of the cross. The cross is for life, not just for Good Friday. As I have said, what we learn about at the foot of the cross is glory. At the foot of the cross, we learn about the very worst of humanity. Just listen to the mocking voices, even the mocking voices from priests, let alone the bystanders. And we see also the best of humanity, or humanity perfected in Jesus. On the cross, according to the various gospel accounts, we hear seven words or phrases which in aggregate, aggregate reveal the glory of God, made real to us through the person of the crucified Christ. Amidst the mocking voices, we hear, Father, forgive. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Woman, behold your son. Son, behold your mother. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I thirst, it is finished. Into your hands I commend my spirit. What we see when we survey the wondrous cross is a man experiencing agony of the very worst that humanity can inflict, offering forgiveness, hope, compassion, trust, glory, in other words. What we see is a Messiah who transcends his own pain and the mockery of others and the agony to offer hope to a criminal, a friend and his mother. No wonder that the centurion was moved to say, truly this man was God's son. No wonder that St Paul was moved to write that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. When we go to the foot of the cross, what we see is glory, divine, undiluted glory. When we stop and survey the wondrous cross, the really good news is this. We too get changed from glory into glory and become heirs to the promise that when our time comes, we too will dine with Jesus in paradise. The cross is for life, not just for Good Friday. Let us all spend a little time at the foot of the cross each and every week as part of our ordinary spiritual and prayerful discipline so that in solidarity with the centurion, we too know in the very core of our being that Jesus really is the Son of God.
we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Let us stand with Mary, John and the, other, and the other women at the foot of the cross, surveying the Prince of Glory, giving thanks for his words of forgiveness, compassion and hope from the cross. Let us also remember the worst that humanity can do, and bring before God this day all who are made to feel less than fully human, all who take real risks for their faith, for your persecuted church. Help us to see true glory when we survey the wondrous cross. Help us to live in hope that we will die with you in paradise. We pray, Lord, for your world at this time, so fragile, so broken, for all who are suffering in your world from COVID, from malnutrition, from the worst of political tyranny and excess, for all men, women and children who have made to feel less than fully human, simply on the basis of who they are, what they believe, or where they were born. We pray that your church will give strong leadership in this time. We pray for a holy and healthy church. For the ministry of all bishops, priests and deacons, and especially for those soon to be ordained into those orders. In this diocese, we pray for Bishop Stephen and Bishop Allen, for our Archdeacon Guy, all local clergy and lay leaders. We ask your blessing on our community activities, on the food bank, food cupboard, and also on the shop. Pray for our work with children and young people, and for the vulnerable and elderly for our own families and friends. And lastly, as we survey the wondrous cross, we pray for ourselves, that we may see your glory and that we may also be changed from glory into glory till in heaven we see your face. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet and share his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
God of mercy, through the death of your beloved Son, you transformed an instrument of shame into a sign of hope and glory. Receive all we offer you this day and renew in us the mystery of his love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For he is your living word. Through him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand on high. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forevermore praising you and singing. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, Renew us by your Spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Yes, in Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. For though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body of Christ broken for us. blood of Christ shed for us. Faithful God, whose Son bore our sins in his body on the tree and gave us this sacrament to show forth his death until he comes, Give us grace to glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, for he is our salvation, our life and our hope, and reigns as Lord now and forever. Amen. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink this cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Him is at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow.
So the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and amongst those who you l l love and care for and pray for, this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.